Hi everyone, it's Miss Bronzino. Welcome to our library class. I am so happy to see everybody. I thought we'd start our class the way that we start every library class with our opening rhyme. So everyone's hands are ready. Let your hands go, clap, clap, clap. Let your fingers go, snap, snap, snap. Let your lips go very round, but do not make a sound. Hold your hands, close your eyes, take a deep breath, and softly sigh. Open your eyes and let your hands. You didn't speak, did you? Okay, so today we're going to be sharing this book together. It is called Interrupting Chicken. It is a favorite of mine. And we're going to be looking for a couple of things as we read this book. We're going to be looking for the problem for the little chicken. I think a lot of our friends had the same problem as this little chicken. I also want us to be looking for the problem for the dad. And I think a lot of the parents listening along will probably have the same problem as the dad in the story. I know I do with my twins at home. And we're going to be looking for the surprise ending at the end of the story. Okay, so three things we're looking for. The problem for the chicken, the problem for dad, and the surprise ending. Okay, so here we go. Interrupting chicken. I'll try to hold it so that you can see. I'll move back a little bit. Okay. Interrupting chicken. It was bedtime for the little red chicken. Okay, my little chicken, said Papa. Are you all ready to sleep? Yes, Papa, but you forgot something. What's that? asked Papa. A bedtime. All right, said Papa, I'll read you one of your favorites. Of course, you're not going to interrupt the story tonight, are you? Oh no, Papa, I'll be good. Hansel and Gretel. Hansel and Gretel were very hungry. Deep in the woods, they found a house made of candy. Nibble, 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 they began to eat the house until the old woman who lived there came out and said, what lovely children, why don't you come inside? They were just about to follow her when a little red chicken jumped out and she said, don't go in, she's a witch. So Hansel and Gretel didn't see it. Chicken? Yes, Papa? You interrupted the story. Try not to get so involved. I'm sorry, Papa, but she really was a witch. You're supposed to be relaxing so you can fall asleep. Let's try another story. I'll be good. Little Red Riding Hood. Take this basket of goodies to Grandma, said Little Red Riding Hood's mother, but don't stray from the path. The woods are full of danger. Red Riding Hood skipped along through the deep woods. By and by, she met a wolf who wished her good morning. She was about to answer the door when... Out jumped a little red chicken, and she said, don't talk to strangers. The Little Red Riding Hood didn't the end. Chicken, yes, Papa, you did it again. You interrupted two stories and you're not even asleep. I know, Papa, I'm sorry, but he was a mean old wolf. Yes. Now get back to bed. Okay, Papa. Let's try one more little story and I'll be good. 
Chicken Little. Chicken Little was hit on the head by an acorn. The sky is falling, she thought. She was about to run off and warn Goosey Lucy, Ducky Lucky, Henny Penny, and everyone on the farm that the sky was falling. Out jumped the little red chicken, and she said, don't panic, it was just an acorn. So Chicken Little didn't the end. Chicken, yes, Papa, you did it again. Oh, Papa, I couldn't let that little chicken get all upset over an acorn. Please read one more story and I promise I will fall asleep. But chicken, said Papa, we are out of stories. Oh, Papa, I can't go to sleep without a story. Then said Papa yawning, why don't you tell me a story? Tell me a story, said the little red chicken. Okay, Papa, here we go. Um, bedtime for Papa by Chicken. Once there was a little red chicken who put her Papa to bed. She read him a hundred stories. She even gave him warm milk, but nothing worked. He stayed wide awake all Papa. Good night, Papa. The end. Okay, my friends. So I hope you really like that book. I know I did too. I hope that you were looking for the problem for the chicken. Did any of you make a text to self connection with that one? Does anybody else try to get one more story or one more drink of water or like my kids, one more cookie? If you thought that the problem in the story was that the chicken did not want to go to sleep, you are right. Now, what was the problem for the dad? I think he had a bunch of problems. He had, let's say, he had little chicken who he really needed her to go to sleep. And he really wanted her to hear the stories. But what kept happening? She kept interrupting. Right. So, and the, the, Third problem for the dad, I guess, and also for the chicken, is they ran out of books. So it's a good thing that Chicken Little had a uh, little chicken had a very good imagination and was able to come up with that good story that actually put the dad to sleep. And that, my friends, is our surprise ending. I hope that you had a very nice time. I know that I did. I miss you all so, so very much. And I hope to see you again next time. Have a great week, my friends. Have a nice weekend.